Hello, this is James Smith at GANanalysis.net. If you like this video, give us a like and follow us on social media. Today we're looking at the U.S. government 10-year yield minus the 5-year yield, that spread. And you can see going back to the 1970s, it's, you can actually sort of draw a trend line. We broke it here uh, in 2022, but more or less over the last, you know, 50 years, 50 odd years, we've been actually holding this trend line and it looks like we're about to get back above it. So what does it really mean? It means over the course of time, uh, the yield curve has been steepening with the 10 year yielding more and more versus the five year. And if that trend continues, then I expect as we go into a recession, uh, you'll see the Fed cutting rates more aggressively and that yield will widen between the five-year and the 10-year. Now, people often look at the two-year versus the 10-year or the two-year versus the 30-year, but I thought I would just look at the five-year versus the 10-year to give you something different. Um, you can look at this recession back in 2007, 2008. You see how that, that steepening of the yield curve? That happens when the Fed cuts rates uh, it's sort of a reflation trade. and So the short end goes down and the long end uh, either doesn't go down or even goes up so that you get a, a steepening of the yield curve. Same thing happened back in 2001. Very big steepening of the yield curve as the recession hit. And what I'm saying is I think it'll happen here shortly if we get a recession and, you know, the Fed cuts rates probably more than they expect to do. And and then, you know, the five-year uh, will, will go down a bit more than the 10-year. Or, you know, maybe even the 10-year will go up if inflation uh, picks up as they cut rates. Um, so that, I believe, is going to give us a steeper yield curve, five years versus 10 years. And so this trend line is valuable because it's telling you over time, I think that's where it's going, uh, ever steepening yield curve over time. Now, um, if you look at a few other things, uh, you can see that um, we did, like I said, we dipped below uh, this, this dotted line is zero. So we had an inversion of the yield curve. And then now it's, it's, it's in a positive area. 11 basis points, not a big deal, but uh, I think it's going to go up strongly. Uh, once you go from an inverted yield curve to a positive yield curve, that's usually a sign that you're moving into recession. Now, obviously, it doesn't work every time, but I think that's the, that's the concept here. We're looking for the... Po if you see this yield curve steep and sharply as the Fed you know, does 25 basis points in December or maybe even 50, um, you know, and then they promise to do more rate cuts in the new year, I think you'll get a steepening yield curve. Um, so the other thing I would point out is uh, a reflationary trade sponsored by the Fed is, is going to cause commodity prices to go up. And for that reason, um, you could actually have the opposite of the intended effect. The Fed cuts rates thinking they're going to stimulate the economy because, you know, maybe the stock market's going down, the economy is weakening. Um, and then suddenly they cut rates. They think they're helping the economy. But in fact, they're doing the opposite because inflation takes off. So that's the big unknown. Uh, everyone thinks that inflation is under control. I beg to differ. That's not what I see on the GAN charts. And I do believe that inflation in 2025 will be moving up. And the Fed, uh, if they continue with their promise to keep cutting rates, they're just like throwing gasoline on the fire. So uh, keep an eye on the, the yield curve. Um, you know, this spread, especially 10 years minus five years, if it sharply moves up, you know, you know something crazy is going on. You're probably moving into recession. Uh, note that the market often knows these things before the Fed knows it. So, you know, look at this nice recession, vertical move up. Same thing here. And, and you can see going back here, it's a similar thing in 1990, 91. 
Uh, you, this was less predictable. I mean, this was kind of wild back in 1980. It went straight up and then straight back down. Very volatile. But overall, I think the idea here, a steepening of the yield curve normally coincides with a recession. If it's a vertical move up, so much the better. It means you're going to, probably going to have a pretty uh, significant recession. And that's mainly because the Fed's cutting rates pretty drastically in response to a recession. And at the same time, they don't really care about inflation. And, you know, I think because we've been um, running a deficit for so many years, the national debt is, is getting out of control. There's going to come a point where, you know, we cannot service the debt. And granted, uh, Trump is looking to cut $2 trillion out of the budget. I don't believe that's going to happen, but they're going to try. And if they fail, um, that's when the market probably responds by um, raising the 10-year yield uh, because they keep financing with more and more debt. It gets to a point of no return where there's no way they'll ever pay back that debt unless they monetize the debt, which is obviously the path of least resistance. That's what they're probably going to do is monetize the debt, just print some money, pay off, you know, and then your dollar will be worth less money. Um, you know, the, the relative value of the dollar over time keeps losing value. And therefore, you got to be uh, aware that you know, there's a reason why commodities and hard assets are going to go up. It's because the dollar is losing value, maybe less so against the euro and the yen, but uh, against hard assets, you're going to see the dollar lose value. Uh, paper currencies are all suspect, uh, but, you know, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and commodities in general uh, are likely to go up as a result of the Fed printing too much money to monetize the debt. That, of course, they'll tell you they're not doing that, but of course, that's what they will do. So this is kind of fun to watch. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. And uh, 2025 should be an exciting year. So, uh, you know, get ready. This is going to be crazy. And if you want, um, if you like this video, um, visit our website, register. You get a few free reports. And, you know, if you really like it, you know, think about a three-month trial subscription. Thanks for your time. Good luck in your trading.